Well, can you believe it? Thanksgiving is just a couple of weeks away. However, the pandemic is putting a dent in everyone's holiday plans. Yeah, a lot of folks making adjustments. 11 yeah. Alive's Hope Ford has a story from Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. This is the world's busiest airport, but it will likely look a lot different for the Thanksgiving holiday. AAA is reporting the number of people expected to travel this year will drop by 10%. And medical experts say if you do plan to travel, it's better to drive. Don't rely too much on airport coronavirus screenings. They can give you a false sense of security. NBC News senior medical correspondent Dr. John Torres points to a new report from the CDC showing temperatures and symptom-based screenings in airports aren't very effective at catching people who may have COVID-19. Researchers found on average only one case out of 85,000 travelers. AAA reports 50 million Americans still plan to travel for the holiday. Not having family around in the holidays isn't really the holidays. If you do plan to spend time with immediate family, medical experts say now, right now, 14 to 10 days out from Thanksgiving is the time to start a quarantine. If you can't, limit your interactions with other people as much as possible. But with all the precautions the CDC is recommending, will it be enough to get people to change their plans? Everybody has their own families in other locations, so they're wanting to stay where they belong and us as well. So we'll just pretty much do our immediate family here. Occasionally we'll go to Virginia, um, but most of those are elderly people, so no, we, we're not traveling this year. Our immediate family is close by, so they are you know, within a couple miles away. We're, again, hoping to have no rain that day. We can have an outdoor gathering. The nation's top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says people tend to let their guards down around friends and family. So he just reminds people, asymptomatic people can, of course, spread the virus, and to be wary of anyone that might be in your home that is elderly or high risk.